This video is going to be about perhaps the coolest angle or the coolest type of angle and those are alternate angles. Now what is an alternate angle? To demonstrate what an alternate angle is I'm going to need to draw a crazy tower. This is a tower that keeps on going up and up and it alternates from one side to the other as it goes up. So it goes across and then sideways and across and sideways. You might be wondering at this point, have I gone crazy and isn't this video supposed to be about alternate angles? And you'd be right about the video being about alternate angles, not the first bit. What an alternate angle is, is the angle inside the hinge as it were. So if we have the angle on the right being 30 degrees, and let's write that in pen, very small, just so you can fit it inside. So if this is 30 degrees, then the alternative one on the left is also going to be 30 degrees. There we are. And that's basically what the rule is. I'm going to quickly show you, using copy and paste, that that's absolutely true. So let's select this corner. So there's our 30 degree corner. Now if indeed it's equal, if we copy that and then draw it again, it should fit in if you flip it round exactly into the other angle, the alternative angle, the alternate angle. Let's see if it does that. Here's our angle. It's going to fit in. Is it going to fit it? Is it going to fit? Yay! It fits. So indeed, alternate angles are equal. And let's write that as our little formula. Good one to remember is alternate angles are always equal. I might highlight that actually. Quite proud of that little tower. And we should do it in red perhaps. Let's now use that discovery for a few different questions. And just to show you that it's not only cool but also very useful in math exams. For example, if we had two parallel lines like so and a whole set of angles created by them and we were given the angle inside this part of the hinge as being perhaps 120 degrees this angle is 120 degrees. The question though is what is the angle in blue here? A quick reminder of how we might remember the alternate angle rule. The alternate angle rule is, is a bit like a Z so many students call it the Z rule. If you see in a Z we have an alternate angle with a hinge down below and above. How might we use the Z rule in this question though? Can you spot any Zs? I can see a Z going from left to right and then across again here. What that means is that the angle in blue is the exact same angle as the angle in blue that I've now just drawn. They're alternate angles and we know alternate angles are equal so the angle in blue on the top left equals the angle in blue in the bottom right. But what is the angle in blue? Well for this we're going to need a bit of additional knowledge. If the angle in red is 120 and it forms a semicircle on a straight line, what's the angle in blue? Well they both add up to 180, which means that the angle in blue must be 180, take away 120, which is 60 degrees. 
this angle in blue, let's change the font to blue, is indeed 60 degrees. But we know from the alternate angle rule that this angle, which is 60 degrees, is the same as the angle up here. So to answer our question, that angle is indeed 60 degrees. OK, one last example. What happens if the Z is really wide? For example, we have a line going across. And in all of these examples, I should note that it only works if the lines are parallel. To demonstrate, parallel lines usually have little arrows on them. So I'm going to draw a few arrows just so you remember that this trick only works with parallel lines. Now, back to our question. Here's a set of parallel lines. And I'll just draw the arrow so we know it's parallel. There we are. And then some angles appear going across. And the question would give us perhaps this angle here, 130 degrees. But what the question wants to know is what is the angle to the right? Let's name it x. x degrees. What is the angle x? If we're looking for z's in this diagram, you may be very tempted to look at this z going down and across like so. And that is still a z. And this angle does indeed equal that angle. And you could even use that to solve the question. But I'm going to point out an even cooler z. What about the z going long ways, an elongated z, like so, just to draw it above? down and across. It looks a bit like a Z that hasn't gotten out of bed. The hinges are still equal. It's still an alternate angle. So if this is 130 degrees, then X is indeed 130 degrees.